Is trading stocks a good investment? Here's another question. Do you like games of chance? Do you like betting $10 on whether a quarter will land heads up or tails up? Or $20 on whether a penny is hiding in somebody's left hand or right hand? Or $50 on just one round of rock, paper, scissors? You probably think these games sound stupid because they're random, and we tend not to like random games. We prefer games with a little bit of skill. This is why we like sports. It's why we play poker. It's why we trade stocks. But here's the thing. In the short term, stock prices are random. They're not predictable at all. Trying to guess their day-to-day -day gyrations actually isn't a game of skill. It's much more like a game of chance. Don't believe me? Fine. Just believe the last two winners of the Nobel Prize for Economics. Eugene Fama and Robert Schiller won for explaining why traders are crazy to waste all this money on short-term stock movements. Fama argued that markets are perfectly efficient. Each price reflects the universe of knowledge about each stock. In the short term, this means you can't beat the market because no single investor knows more than the universe. Schiller argued the opposite. He said markets are inefficient, driven by investors' emotions. Mass hysteria, mass gloom, and so-called animal spirits move the market in the short term away from fundamentals like earnings. It's only in the long term that a company's performance matters more than the animal spirits. These two economists couldn't have disagreed more about how markets work, but they agreed on the conclusion. In the short run, no individual investor should expect to win. So what about these assorted investment gurus who promise they can help you beat the market day in and day out? They're making a weird promise. See, if the markets are efficient, governed by reason, they're promising you they can find obvious bargains in a world where obvious bargains should be impossible. If the markets are inefficient, governed by our emotions rather than our reason, then these gurus are telling you that they can predict the emotions of millions of investors. That seems even more impossible. The upshot for investors trying to make a buck swapping stocks each week is simple. Stop flipping that coin.